We're almost there, Melek. We're finally getting out of that room into the outside world. It's been ten years since I've been outside. I think we should ask for help as soon as we get out of here. Could the Opera House people be looking for me? And Rao, what happened to him? Oh, finally! I can't believe it! I'm free! Now I can sing of my own free will! I can now go anywhere I wish! Where are we, Christine? It's my dressing room. We must have been in that room for an entire day and night at least. It's probably morning by now, don't you think? Then we perhaps we can enjoy the sunlight as soon as we step outside. Thank you, Christine. I'm the one who's grateful, Melik. Grateful to you. Come to think of it, what's going to happen to Melik now? Um, so what's your plan now? I don't have money or a place to go right away, although I'd love to leave this country at once. For now, I'll have to find someone to write a letter to my family on my behalf. I don't think I can make it back home alone like this just yet. Then, why don't you stay with me until you hear back from your family? Although, I should ask my mother first. Then, I should ask her in person. Yes, let's do that. I hope mother says yes. We must get you back to full health before you see your family again. And Rona. Well, shall we get going then? Christine! Are you alright? Are you unhurt? <laughs> it's Christine! Christine's really back! I'm alright, girls. I'm a bit tired, but I should feel better once I get some rest. Who's that with you? How do you do? This is Melik. I might not be here right now if it wasn't for her. Are you Christine's friends? It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, Christine's back, and now I met Melik. Christine, you look terribly exhausted. Shouldn't you go home and get some rest? I'm going to. Anyway, where's Sorley? Oh, Sorley, she's somewhere in the opera house. The opera house... Oh my, I completely forgot! Isn't the Viscount de Chagney still at the opera house? What? We found the Viscount by the water when we went down there to save you. Heavens, Rao's alive. That's such a relief. You said by the water? Did you find the way to the lake then? Well, sort of. Yes, that's right. How did my friends find their way there? I must see Rao at once. Do you know where he is? He was probably getting some rest in the green room. Christine. I just walked past him. Whoops. 
Oh, I'm not dreaming now. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I feel the same way, Christine. I thought I'd never get to see you again. So what happened? I don't remember much after being swept away by the water from the torture chamber. If those people didn't come down to the lake, I might have died. Thank you, Miss Jerry. I wouldn't be alive if it hadn't led those people down there. I'm so glad that both of you are safe and sound, although it's most unfortunate what happened to the Count. Please don't talk about that. Meg, what happened to the Count? Let's get out of here, Christine. You never know what he might do if we linger here any further. I'd like to go home right away and get some sleep. Christine, could you help me down the stairs? Oh, hold on. Sorry about that, Melek. Let's take it nice and slow. See you again soon. I'm going to name this cat Christine. So long, girls. So you're the one that Christine wanted to rescue. I heard your voice from the torture chamber. That's right. My name is Malik. Pleased to finally meet you in person. I'm Raul D. Chagney. I'm glad you made it out there safely. Well, I wouldn't have been able to escape if it wasn't for Melik. Thank heavens, you, both of you are all right. It's a relief that you are all right as well, sir. Christine was worried sick about you. Christine, did he let you go? No, I left that house on my own volition. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it later, since now doesn't seem to be appropriate time for that. Is Mr. Droga all right? He must still be at Eric's house. We couldn't bring him with us. I wonder if he's all right. He's probably fine. Don't worry too much. I see. Ral, are you going to go home now? I won't go back where I'm not free to love someone as I please. I'm thinking of staying in Perros Girl for a while to reminisce about the good old days. I'll be able to store along the beach of Tresro where I first met you. If you need anything from me, don't hesitate to write me or send me a telegram. I see. If I'm not mistaken, I'm sure you'll be back soon. I feel a bit uneasy for some reason, don't you? Something doesn't feel right. I still have something to say to Christine, but if she gets on that coach... Then what's keeping you? Hurry! Right now? Hurry! It's better to tell her now than get regret it later. <laughs> 